As I'm making this video, the NBA is currently in the process of announcing their 75 greatest players of all time. And one of the names that's surely to make the list is John Hondo Havlicek, who is somewhat underrecognized for his talent and impact on the league. John was known for several things throughout his legendary career. He was a leader, a workhorse with incredible stamina, and he was one of the most clutch performers the NBA has ever seen. Whenever the Celtics needed a big game or a big play, John was often the man who provided it for them. He was drafted out of Ohio State University with a 7th overall pick in the 1962 NBA Draft. When John was drafted by the Boston Celtics, he was known mainly as a defensive player from his college days. But now, he was playing with the very talented Boston Celtics. With Boston loaded with stars, very often, the defense would sag off on John, daring him to shoot the ball. His legendary head coach, Red Auerbach, told him that he shouldn't let the defense disrespect him like that and that Havlicek needed to be more aggressive offensively. This bit of advice completely changed his career to say the least. Not only did he look to score more, but he became one of the best scorers the NBA had to offer and currently has the seventh most shot attempts in NBA history. He was a 13-time All-Star with 11 All-NBA selections and he was the 1974 Finals MVP. He was a scoring wing player with a smooth jump shot, and he was a tenacious and scrappy defender who often forced his opponent into turnovers, none more famous than in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals between his Celtics and Wilt Chamberlain's 76ers. With a game and a trip to the NBA Finals on the line, Hal Greer was inbounding the ball. The Celtics were leading by one point when John Havlicek made one of the most famous defensive plays in NBA history. He anticipated the pass and stole the ball, sending the Celtics to the finals where they would go on to win one of his astonishing eight NBA championships. People frequently talk about Michael Jordan's undefeated 6-0 NBA finals record, but there are actually three players in league history who have an even greater finals record than Jordan, and one of them is John Havlicek, who finished with an 8-0 record. He was the Finals MVP in 1974 with a stat line of 26.4 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds, 4.7 assists, and 1.9 steals on 42.9% shooting. The thing is, yes, Havlicek was the Finals MVP in 1974, but that was one of the few championship seasons where the Finals MVP actually existed and was available to him. If the award had always existed throughout his career, he would definitely have multiple Finals MVPs to his name, with the 1968 Finals and the 1969 Finals being two of his standout performances. Bill Russell is obviously remembered as the leader and the iconic cornerstone of the Celtics dynasty, as he should be. But it is worth acknowledging that Russell had the luxury of leading upon his teammates offensively, while he focused more on what he was best at, defense and rebounding. One of those players he leaned upon heavily was Havlicek, who at one point led his loaded Celtics in scoring for six consecutive seasons. On top of all of this, he was also one of the elite wing defenders of league history with his eight all-defense teams. But that stat only tells one portion of the story. In his first 11 seasons in the NBA, the league wasn't tracking any blocks or steals, which kept him from ranking high on the all-time lists. The Defensive Player of the Year award also didn't exist until years after he retired. So as impressive as his career resume is, in reality, it should be recognized as significantly better. He played 16 reliable seasons with the Celtics and never once played less than 70 games in a season. For his career, he averaged 20.8 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 4.8 assists per game. But during his prime season, he was averaging nearly a triple-double of 29 points, 9 rebounds, and over 7 assists, while playing a remarkable 45 minutes per game. Outside of Bill Russell, you could argue that no other player was more pivotal to the Celtics' success in the 60s and 70s than John Havlicek. He's still the Boston Celtics' all-time leader in points and field goals made. He's second in assists and fifth in rebounds. He's ranked fourth all-time behind Kobe Bryant, Dirk Nowitzki, and Tim Duncan in points scored by a player who spent his entire career with one franchise. Havlicek was one of 10 players in NBA history to make at least eight All-NBA teams and eight All-Defensive teams. The other nine are Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Hakeem Olajuwon, Michael Jordan, David Robinson, Kevin Garnett, Gary Payton, and Chris Paul. That's some pretty legendary company. 
On top of all of this, John was known as a wonderful teammate and human being. In a statement released by the Celtics organization shortly after his passing, they said, His defining traits as a player were his relentless hustle and wholehearted commitment to team over self. He was extraordinarily thoughtful and generous, both on a personal level and for those in need, as illustrated by his commitment to raising money for the Genesis Foundation for Children for over three decades through his fishing tournament. John was kind, considerate, humble, and gracious. He was a champion in every sense. John Hondo Havlicek will be remembered in NBA history as a terrific ambassador of the game and as the quintessential Boston Celtic. So now it's your turn. Where do you rank John Havlicek among the greatest Boston Celtics of league history? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.